stuck. I'm stuck. It's so dry. Look at it. It's dry roads. Dry roads. I've got traction. I'm not getting wet. My bike's staying clean. I can grip the road. My brakes, they work properly. Oh, and my bike's still. <laughs> I've learned the value of finding a mechanic who actually really knows his shit about your bike. I found a mechanic up in Bury St Edmunds um, and he races SV650s. Because he races them, of course he knows them inside out. <clears throat> so when I took this girl into uh, Infra's MOT, he started up and the first thing he said, oh that doesn't sound right. But he came out with this um, tiny little, uh, it was like a little screw with a rubber boot around it, a little bolt. And he goes, uh, so I bet you your bike's been running bloody horrible for the past few months. I was like, what do you mean? He goes, well, it's probably been popping and banging. And I was like, well, yeah, yeah. I thought that was kind of normal for having um, a straight through exhaust. He goes, no, no, it's not normal at all. And he said, it was this. And he showed me this rubber boot, this rubber sleeve, and it was completely perished. It had completely fallen apart. And uh, he goes, yeah, that's that's not how it should be. That that's obviously completely nothing fucked. So I said I plugged a bit uh, that it was supposed to be blocking, and uh, and now your bike should run quite significantly smoother. Uh, and it was, I think, it was the pair valve intake. I think that's what it's called. And basically, what it was doing is allowing air into the carbs and ruining the vacuum. And as a consequence of ruining the vacuum. It was fucking up my fuel and air mix, making it back by making it too rich. There's too much air going in. So he's now my guru. And I think what this highlights is how important it is to find someone who really knows their shit about your bike. That, that should be your objective. If you own a bike, find a mechanic who really knows them inside out because, my God, will it make a difference to your bike? He stuck it on the dyno, because I was just like, you know what, I'll stick it on the dyno, because as stock, these bikes come with 64 brake horsepower, which is not very much, to be fair. Let's, let's be fair now. So he sticks it on the dyno. He takes the baffle out, because he goes, yeah, that'll eat like your horse. He puts it in the dyno. 67 brake horsepower. I've got the screenshot, I've got the, the thing that's come up now, somewhere here. Ah. Uh, and I was like, wow, 67 brake! That's only 3 brake horsepower over the original, but for a 14 year old bike, that is pretty fucking good innings, I've got to say. I'm very impressed. So yeah, anyway, when you replace this valve, he said your bike's going to feel a bit different when you bike home, just be aware of that. And my god, is it different? It's so much smoother. It sounds good to you as well, it sounds much nicer. Obviously the bike passed its MOT with only one advisory, which was, well, I could leave you to have a guess, but it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Gee, what could the advisory be? <laughs> so, yeah, noisy exhaust. Oh well, it's like it's more like a pat on the back, isn't it? It's not uh oh, your your bike's too noisy, it's bad, it's yeah, well done, your bike's noisy. <laughs> but anyway, as I said, find a mechanic that knows his shit about your bike. It will make a tremendous difference to how you feel about bringing your bike in for a service or any kind of work. Find someone who's passionate about the bike for whatever reason, find someone who races them. Because I guarantee they'll know your bike a darn sight better than, they, than you will because they will have literally stripped the things down bit by bit and built them back up. They'll know exactly how they're supposed to feel on the track, so thereby how they're supposed to feel on the road. And they'll be able to advise you on you know, the best parts for your bike. It's old, but sticking some uh, cans from a fuel injection, that's a fucking pothole. That's new. Uh, fucking pretty good actually for for 600cc, please don't kill me, 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 thank you! 
I love you, Minnie. I've got to get lunch because I was being a lazy sod this morning. Did not get up early enough. Completely right. Hello, skinny bear. I see you looking at me. Y'all jealous. <laughs> Y'all jealous. Boom, boom, boom. It's going to stall now, you watch. <laughs> no, I won't go into gear, look. I won't go into neutral. There we go. Does V Twin Vlogs or one for lunch? That is the question. Yeah, good. I'm just gonna park in the disabled parking. <laughs> I know it doesn't affect me, but it does annoy me. It's like, why are you parking in disabled parking when you're not fucking disabled? Break. Fancy something a little bit healthy. Good. Apple juice. What's the thing? A snack. Or yogurt. Where are the yogurts? Well, I'm looking for them. Okay, but it's got to be a chocolate bar with my crisps. Sorry, mate. Cool, what crisps do I want? Oh, go on, Monster Munch. I'll go on, Monster Munch. That'll do. Jackass. <laughs> Some people are so lazy. <laughs> so she's gonna behave herself. So to summarize this video. Summarize this vlog. Find a mechanic that loves your bike. It's as simple as that. Find a mechanic who's passionate about your particular bike, you won't go far wrong. That is all for me. Between vlogs are signing out. Know. Oh my god, this is so slow. I'm gonna get to work. <laughs> <laughs>